Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Chief Pad. Today, we're going to be hopping into a pair of replays as I was going for the number one spot, starting out at 4,038 trophies at rank number eight. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be playing against a level 11. He started off with a Hog Rider Goblin push, and as I make my way into the center of his side, he's actually going to throw a Fireball that misses almost everything and leaves my Valkyrie as well as my Goblin a straight shot at the tower. So still going to get a crazy amount of damage and now look at the elixir advantage that i have i have a five elixir advantage and by dropping my pump i'm going to only make that bigger over time setting myself up for a huge push probably about a minute from now so he's going to do the same thing drop a push on his side or a pump on his side of the map gonna go ahead and save up for that pekka and as soon as i hit 10 elixir we're gonna go ahead and drop it and uh, so far so good in this battle setting up for again a huge push on that left hand lane Okay, so he's going to drop a Hog Rider over the top. It's going to end up taking care of my Elixir Pump, but I still have my P.E.K.K.A. to smack him down just in case. And at this point, 9 Elixir to 7 with a huge P.E.K.K.A. rumbling down the lane. I have such an advantage right now. Just don't want to screw it up as we make our way into the center. And that's where we're going to drop our Hog Rider. He's going to throw a Fireball at the Wizard, which isn't powerful enough to take the Wizard out. And as my troops start making their way to the center, he actually ended up... Uh, dragging them to that elixir collector, but still I was able to freeze those minions. The freeze goes quicker than the arrows, so I wanted to do that first. Took out those minions afterwards, and we definitely have a gigantic lead going into the last half of the battle. Okay, so I am a little bit low on elixir as he plays his hog rider as well as that goblin. Gonna go ahead and drop our Valkyrie to take out that Hog Rider. And again, things are looking pretty solid. He does have a two Elixir lead, but he has to worry about that Valkyrie on the left-hand side. Looks like he's hovering a defensive card right now. And for him, that's probably not gonna go too well. He needs to make sure that he keeps his Elixir advantage if he wants any chance of taking me out, especially because I am level 12. Of course, all of his cards are almost completely maxed out, especially because I don't think he's using any epics. So all of his commons and rares are maxed out, I guess, except for that Elixir collector. So things are still looking okay as we build another P.E.K.K.A. and with only 40 seconds left, that Elixir Collector really didn't do too much for him. Okay, so Goblin's up front. Looks like we're going to drop our Hog Rider right now to try to save uh, my P.E.K.K.A. from that Inferno Tower. And since we killed that Inferno so quickly, he's going to start throwing some crazy stuff at all of my troops. I'm going to end up freezing just a second too late against that Wizard. And now we can just push to the finish as two towers have gone down. Our P.E.K.K.A.'s on the tower. And at this point, he's given up. And that's going to be good game against this rank number 20 player. So good stuff. Three crowns right there, which usually happens after you're able to overrun them with one of those pushes. Again, still climbing towards that number one spot. This would be the fourth day in a row that I was number one. So let's go into one more battle right here. And uh, let's go ahead and see how it turns out. Okay, so starting off, my starting hand, I don't have an Elixir Collector, which is sort of annoying. And check out this guy's deck. This guy's deck is probably pretty common. And you guys might be seeing it often. The whole purpose of the deck is to get me to use my arrows uh, and then not have any arrows to play against the Goblin Barrel, the Minion Horde, or anything like that. I'm going to use my Valkyrie to take care of two Goblins at once. They still did end up getting damaged, but it's going to be a little bit... It's going to be able to be dealt with in the end. And uh, now, going to keep pushing. He's going to drop... His Spear Goblin's right there. My Wizard will take those out. He can't drop his Minion Horde just yet because of the fact uh, that my Wizard was standing right there. That's why I swapped out the Musketeer for the Wizard in my deck. And now on the left-hand lane, we're going to go ahead and make another pit push. Of course, he will drop the Minion Horde finally. And uh, we're going to have to arrow that down in just a moment and prepare for the Goblin Barrel, which is inevitably going to be coming onto one of my towers. Okay, so four Elixir to two Elixir. Looks like we're only two Elixir down. Let's see what he does. He's going to end up using his Goblin Barrel. You can see him hovering it right now. He did give me plenty of time to save up Elixir, though. I'm just going to drop my own Goblins uh, to try to protect or protect. And still, 500 damage from that is just insane. And again, I can't use my arrows a lot of the time because I need to save those for my or for the minion horde okay so my valkyrie did absolutely nothing i said a wow because i couldn't believe she was only hitting one archer at a time but still minute and a half left archer is going to get just a tiny bit of damage to my elixir pump which is going to go down and start giving us a little bit of an edge going into the rest of the battle because we definitely need it he's just going to keep spamming these goblin barrels over and over again and holding on to his minion horde so just need to keep being patient keep making my way for the perfect push 
And uh, as he drops those Spear Goblins, not don't even really need to care about those right now. Gonna take a little bit of damage to both my pump and my tower, but still, that's gonna give me a little bit of an elixir advantage. And now he's gonna go ahead and drop that minion horde, which means you know what's probably coming next, the goblin barrel, seeing as he thinks I'm out of arrows. So again, I am out of arrows, and as I dropped that wizard, I was actually hoping to drop that near the goblins. And I played my Valkyrie to help out. She's gonna end up taking out that uh or that Goblin Barrel, he's going to end up playing his Valkyrie and a Freeze, which is really strong on defense, so I'm going to end up just freezing that Valkyrie right there. And then now, should be able to take care of that Valkyrie in just a second, but unfortunately, the arrows did do a decent amount of damage uh, to most of my troops, which leaves us at a small disadvantage going into the rest of this battle. So it's really frustrating going against this deck. In the end, I'm just going to end up arrowing this Goblin Barrel because it's been really annoying for a while. I'm just going to use my Wizard against a Minion Horde push. Uh, so let's go ahead and try that out. Okay, so Minion Horde's uh, gonna go ahead and probably pop in just a moment as my wizard makes his way in. Looks like the Valkyrie's gonna be in there as well. I'm gonna have to freeze the Valkyrie to help out, and as he gets ready to drop something, he's really tempted to drop that Minion Horde, but he can't. And now we're gonna be making a huge push towards the end. The arrows take out the Minion Horde as well as hit the tower and the archers. Wizard, Goblins, and Valkyrie are running forward, and finally we got the push that we needed after that long battle to end up stealing a one crown to zero victory, and uh, that was some pretty solid stuff. And after all of my pushing today, you can see right here, I ended up hitting the number one spot yet again. Uh, I guess I'm posting this the day after recording it, so I was number one for the fourth day in a row. Unfortunately, the day that this is being posted, I'm gonna be flying to Finland. So I won't have time to play, and I probably won't get that number one spot back. But still, four days in a row at number one was pretty solid. And uh, so far, so good into this season. We'll see what happens after I get off that plane, and uh, how many trophies I'll be behind. So yeah, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you drop a like. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.